All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to unveil one of the most uh, overlooked yet powerful concepts that you will ever come across to really pinpoint areas in the child where a potential reversal of some type of uh, magnitude, smaller or larger in degree, is going to be likely. Now, the concept that I'm referring to here in this video is the symmetrical projections. And this is a technique widely used by savvy traders out there to um, take profits off the table or identify confluences and make decisions around these points. Now the power here behind this simple idea of the uh, symmetrical projections resides uh, as, the, as the word actually indicates in the uh, symmetry and harmonic relationships of market cycles. So by drawing a uh, initially a 100% projection, which is going to require first and uh, first of all, we need to edit the Fibonacci values. So just take a capture, take a screenshot of my values and replicate this in your own uh, indicator. So this is the very first requirement. We need to uh, edit these numbers in the Fibonacci retracement tool through TradingView. And once that's done, uh, that's going to allow us to anticipate the uh, area or areas in the chart where some type of uh, pause and potential reversal in the price is likely to occur due to mainly three reasons. Number one, the siding control of the cycle takes profits off the table, as I just mentioned in the introduction. Second reason, is counter trend positions are going to be added by continuing players and also uh, these are going to be price points where limit orders are going to be set by uh, market makers now you are going to be amazed as i said at the accuracy rate of this uh, um, symmetrical projections and the uh, you know initially the 100 percent symmetrical projection and the subsequent hundred sequences that may follow that also going to be acting as an initial wall that causes or as a uh, per, or, or as a successive wall that causes a reversal uh, eventually causes a reversal in the trend as a result of the rational that i just explained either profit taking contrarian players or uh, limit orders heavy limit orders by market makers so what I'm going to be doing now is uh, I'm going to go through a few examples to really build a strong foundation on how these levels get to be drawn, identified and uh, respected. So let's get started. Uh, first of all, as I said, we need to uh, edit the Fibonacci retracement. I've already done so. So notice here that I've got just the zeros, fifties and one hundreds, even though the body is not going to be showing. That's what these lines indicate. Now that once you've done that and you have your preset FIB retracement values as suppose uh, as I'm indicating here. Now we need to be interested in the calculation of this projected areas. So what is very important here is that we should identify at all times, we should identify block or bracketed areas, blocks or bracketed areas. Okay. And these blocks or bracketed areas can be drawn so that it allows us to make either an upward or a downward projection. Now, if we want to make an upward projection, we must drag this Fibonacci retracement tool from the bottom to the top of a bracketed area. On the contrary, if we what, what we want is to obtain a downward projection, we need to be dragging this uh, Fibonacci retracement tool from the top to, down to the bottom. Okay, don't forget this. Otherwise, the um, the values might get wrong and you're not going to get the right lines popping up in the chart as we want them because remember it's not just about the 100% projection it's about the successive projection that occur if that initial 100% projection gets to be uh, broken. Now with that subtlety out of the way next is to learn how to draw this uh, 
projections in the chart, as I said, by first identifying these bracketed areas, okay? There's going to be, for the most part, two types of bracketed areas. And, um, you know, as a, as a rule of thumb, a bracketed area, all it is, is either a established range or can also be a bracketed area within an active trend. So let me first show you a bracketed area within an active trend. We can see here that Bitcoin has been making higher highs. So we're going to be grabbing the lows up to this breaking point. And that's, we're going to come up with a 100% projection right there, which as you can see coincides very nicely with this origin of supply right there. Now we got an opportunity to draw another micro one and notice that there is confluence. 100% projection target also happens to be around the same point. That's really something that I want to uh, emphasize very strongly. Do not ever hesitate, do not ever be shy of drawing uh, a number of these uh, yeah, projection levels multiple and find where the most or the strongest confluence exists okay so this would be what i would call uh, projection uh, projection targets that originate off uh, an active trend okay and how we identify these bracketed areas in the first place so just as a reminder we have identified the first one by first capturing the low through the highs and here the same thing low through the highs and we end up with these two boxes then we can essentially just duplicate the size of this box and that is the 100% projection and in this case that would be the 100% projection so that reinforces this as a very important area of resistance in the chart based on this idea of the 100% projection target now to the downside Let's find out what targets may have uh, been identified. So from this high down to this low right here, this would have been a very nicely captured and well-defined bracketed area in the daily or even the weekly. So we ended up with a 100% projection right there. Notice that the price came really, really close, but never really, never actually touch it. Now we can also uh, draw a 100% projection target of that peak so from the high down to that candle again it never came to that point but you can understand that this would have been a very reasonable area to expect a reversal in Bitcoin we never got to touch that area but that's how you actually work out these projection targets initially the 100 percent is the one that you want to keep in mind and if that gets broken then you can start thinking about the next 100 percent projection target remember that once we've identified these bracketed areas the fib tool will display uh, as i said initially the 100 that's the level that we must always assume until proven wrong that a shift in structure may be occurring once that has been broken and we find price accepting beyond that 100% projection level, that level tends to act as dynamic um, support or resistance. Let me show you an example of what I mean here. Uh, just uh, I think we can go back through this rally and find a few examples. So notice this, uh, this rally here. We had price. Here in this case, struggling at the 100% projection. So again, if we had gone long, let's just say at this candle or this candle, and you want to consider taking profits off the table, the 100% projection would have uh, nailed it, really. Okay, to see if we can find examples where the 100% projection gets broken, and that actually acts as resistance later sorry, a support later in this uptrend. So this isn't a good example. We had an active trend. We can highlight the bracketed area from the lows through the high. The 100 gets to be broken. 
even the 200 if, but notice that this candle that's where the market struggles at that next projection target eventually goes higher and surprising sorry not surprisingly the market actually uh, sells off but notice where the absorption occurs and that candle closes for not only one time but in several occasions it it does struggle at that broken 100 percent projection target that was uh, was left behind with the market here accepting beyond okay that's what i meant before when saying that if that pro initial projection gets to be left behind we could be accepting an army of buyers that would be defending and treating that area as support on the way down if there's going to be a pullback as in the case that was seen right there now let's see if we can get accuracy in this uh, move up so here we have one potential candidate as a box for a bracketed area and the 100 came right there so pretty accurate we eventually found acceptance and that ends up being a pretty decent area of support notice how many times the price actually is starting to respect this level and eventually it springs board it acts as a springboard for new highs we could also have worked out more projections through this uh, compress box so let's find out whether or not that would have made sense and it did make a lot of sense notice here once again let me just delete that one okay so this would have been the bracketed area through all these highs through all these highs and this couple of lows sorry let me just right there okay and then here we got the 100 percent broken what do you notice when i retest boom respect it to the t and the market doing this run made it all the way to the next 100 percent projection 200 percent whatever you want to call it at the end of the day the the main point that it's to be remember is that these are uh, symmetrical targets of this box that has been previously identified and here it is an ex a very a neat and uh, excellent example of uh, all these concepts that uh, I have been emphasizing all embodied within one example because we had the 100% projection broken and acting as a support on a retest and we also had the next projection really acting as that strong area of uh, resistance okay and as I said never be shy of drawing several of these projections because the more confluence that you can find in a specific location the more weight that you should be uh, putting in okay let's just find one more example see if we can make it work so in this case the 100 percent projection once again initially gets respected right there and eventually broken and that area even though it gets penetrated a few times it does act very nicely as a level of support not sure if that's the one that i already went through can't really remember so yeah um i encourage you to experiment with this tool and see how many points of confluence you're able to find do so uh in um, you know we're going to be uh, taking trades of higher time frames uh, anyway but uh this definitely gets to be more and more accurate the higher in the time frames that you go otherwise if you're gonna go and do this in the five minute or the 15 minute and you end up having uh, projection levels all over the place then it's gonna be definitely more tricky but not our case okay so yeah this these projections are going to be phenomenal for us to get even 
uh, more accurate and increase our rate of precision when looking for exits in our trades. I hope this lesson has been of uh, value for you all, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.